This is KXP with the Music Matters online at kxp.org. It's a great pleasure to have Pokey Lafarge in studio. Hello, Seattle and world. Better man, don't you want to be a better man? Go by, that's how you 
survive Try and live the life you wanna before you go When the credits roll, it's all It's hard for me to say this without feeling bad I see people fighting all over this land No, the rights are wrong Yeah, we couldn't get along if we tried Growing up is a scam Truth is a lie your mind or go outside and find a place to hide silent movie cover your ears and watch the world go by that's how you survive mm. try and live the life you wanna before you go when the credits roll, it's all over now. Silent love, cover your ears and watch the world go by. That's how you survive. Try and live the life you wanna before you go. When the credits roll, it's all over now. Pokey Lafarge in the Roadhouse, silent movie was that one, Better Man Than Me, both from the brand new record called Manic Revelations on Rounder Records, it's brand new, it's a great record and welcome to the show again, welcome back Pokey. It's great to be back in Seattle, it's great to be here at this new studio, yeah, what do you so think? big. Yeah, first time here for you at this It's studio. the first time, yeah, we had done one with you I think maybe, oh gosh, years ago. 18 years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You look good. I was still in high school. Yeah. Thank you. Ryan hasn't changed a bit. Yeah. I think he's wearing the same clothes as the last session. That's probably true. He's a little hairier. You know, yeah. he hasn't shaved since that time. So Portland last night. And uh, how long have you been out on this record? You've been on, on the road quite a bit, I would imagine. With the record, it came out in May. And then we, we started touring on it in June. We've pretty much been out since then around the country. Yeah. I saw you on Conan O'Brien. You did Better Man Than Me on that show. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I'm uh, less nervous to be on this show than I was then. Yeah, no well, offense. you know, we're friends. Yeah, that's what it is. So, uh, great songs on this record and uh, Silent Movie, that last one. Um, you know, you're always saying something in your songs, and that one seems to be about shutting out the noise. Uh, yeah, you know, um, uh, I guess... Uh, I'm kind of a talker. I, I talk a lot, and sometimes you can <clears throat> say things you don't mean um, when everybody wants you to say something and make a stance. Um, you know, you can do that, but uh, also at the same time, there's some self-preservation in involved, at least for me, with all the media and um, just all, yeah, as you said. Yeah. You said it, the noise. Just well, to shut you know, up. it seems like you do address issues in your song. Certainly on this record you do, and uh, I think it's really something that I respect you for because you're, you know, not only musically are you, I think, great, but also I think you are saying something in your songs. And as a writer, how do you approach uh, new material? You seem to be sort of an observationist a bit. Well, you know, the... Uh, the, certainly the songs in, are changing from uh, with the ex life that we all live and you know, all of us you know we're involved with these songs uh, the experiences that you you uh, you have in your life it influences your material but then that much more these are these are crazy times 
uh, more so than I can remember probably in my life. And um, you can't shut it out all the time, nor should you. Um, and you do have to make a stance, uh, make a statement other times. <clears throat> but I don't really want to preach to anybody, and I don't really want anybody preaching to me. So for me, um, what has always really kind of touched my heart and got me thinking and influenced me to act was, uh, was art but poetry, and, you know, the words. And um, so that's kind of how I prefer to make my statements is in, is in poetry. And um, I think in that way it leaves it open to interpretation for people to get to thinking and making their own decisions, not necessarily beating it. Yeah. upside the head with the message. Yeah, it always seems to work better that way. The album title, Manic Revelations, uh, I think that means the state where artists create. Is that what you said about that title of the record? Well, you know... Uh, or where did the title of the record come from? Yeah, there's a certain, there's a certain, uh, certain mania that um, sort of a blessing and curse to be an artist. Uh, for me, it's hard to shut it off. I, I'm writing a lot. I uh, write, you know, throughout the day, and um, yeah, when you when you write the song, there's a certain mania there, perhaps. But when you're in the studio, it's a whole different kind of thing. It's like, oh shit, we're at the end of the end of the line here. There's no going back. We yeah. gotta make this right. So, yeah, the record's great. It has a bit of a different sound to it, to me anyway. It seems to have more of a bit of a, it's a bit more produced, and it has a bit of, uh, I think, kind of a soul kind of thing going on to it. Is that right? <laughs> Yeah, I would say so. You know, um, I don't. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily going to be a permanent thing. I've been writing. Uh, I've written a lot of songs for a new record. We're going to be getting back in the studio in October to record a new record, um, and they don't really have that kind of thing to it. So. I don't know, maybe it was just a, yeah. a passing phase. Well, I guess what I'm talking about is this next song, which is like my, I've been calling this song the, the song of the summer. It's called Right in the Streets, and uh, it's on the new record. been playing it quite a bit, and do you want to do that one now? Well, yeah. That's what's doing. This is Pokey Lafarge. And is this still the South City 3? You're still, still calling the, there's more than three now. Though. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> the South City 3 is still here. So we got Ryan Koenig over here on harmonica and banjo and guitar and all kinds of stuff. And uh, we got Joey Glenn over here on the upright bass. Adam Hoskins over there on guitar. So that, that is the South City 3. But while I'm here, I can introduce the rest of the guys if you yeah, like. of course. We have Matt Meyer back here on the drums and Luke Klein on trumpet and Ryan Weissite on, uh, on the reeds, saxes and clarinet. So... Great. That's there's seven of us in here. I'm Pokey with Farge, and um, there's a song I wrote called Right in the Streets. It was 2 a.m., the bars were closing. I heard the news on Channel 4 and the TV anchor tried to say, What's he thought?
megaphone message You can feel it St. Louis to Los Angeles These words written on the door Yeah, it ain't just about the rich and poor no. Our past it won't go away It haunts us the present day There's so much left to learn Pokey Lafarge, right in the streets from his new album called Manic Revelations, is going to be at the Showbox later tonight in Seattle. Great to have you on the show again, Pokey. Uh, that's my song. Your song of the summer. That song seems to be wow. referencing Ferguson and sort of other police brutality episodes of the past few years. Yeah, well, we live in St. Louis, Missouri, and um, yeah, the song came um, out of that, out of Ferguson, and... Um, from the things going on in our city, uh, spread throughout the city. Um, but uh, as the song was getting written, um, the awareness of, of uh, police brutality that, that happens on a daily basis, um, uh, institutionalized racism and, and so forth, it, uh, it just, the song maybe sort of took on some of the different, different themes. I mean, it became bigger mm-hmm. at that point than, than just Ferguson. Um, so, yeah, um, for me, it, it was a it was an opportunity to take a step back from uh, from the melee and and um, kind of examine the the whole situation. I don't know, you know, you could uh, you could write many songs on the subject. So, um, but for me, that you know, people are saying, "Well, it's a dancing number. What's with the you know the groove? It seems contrary to the message." Uh, for me, you know, um, I was thinking about that, and I. I I think it's just, for me, I've always wanted to make music that moves, you know, mm-hmm. that, that moves people and uh, yet has the lyrics that, um, you know, maybe maybe poetry or whether it be a message, you know, uh, say, for an example, I've always been influenced by by that kind of music, whether it's Rocksteady or going back to even Mississippi Sheiks, you know? Yeah, or you said The Clash to me on the phone a few days ago. The Clash, you know, it's just like, it's funky music, man, and mm-hmm. makes you want to move, but, you know, but it's poetry and it's... Um, there's a message in there as well. So, um, yeah, I guess that's what I aim to do, uh, certainly uh, with this song. It's a great tune, um, and uh, the album's called Manic Revelations. And so you got a new one coming out, so you write uh, pretty prolifically, I guess, if you're going back into the studio already. It's kind of rare to write so much and to record so much in, in this day and age, it seems. Well, you know, we can't let all the hip-hop artists have all the fun, you know? I want to I write a lot, so... Uh, I guess that's what I do. I write and put it out. Um, yeah. You know, we there's this cycle of kind of rock and roll and, and Americana, whatever. You, it's maybe a little old-fashioned. You write a record, you record it, and then you sit on it for a few months while they promote it, and then you yeah. release it, and then you tour on it for two years. Next thing you know, two years have gone by, and you've got 100 songs that right. are out there. So Yeah, it's all pretty manipulated, really. It's so more fulfilling for me to do it this way. Yeah, Pokey, so you entered the world of acting recently, too. You were you're portraying Hank Snow on that country uh, music channel, they did a series uh, apparently called Sun Records. Is that, is that right? Am I wrong here? Did That's you, right, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, my mom always told me that my big forehead and, and my, uh, my big ears would, would get me somewhere far, so it was nice to uh, see that that's why they cast me in the show. Yeah. Did you have to do prep to get the Hank character? I did, a little bit. Yeah, yeah I read about him, and, um, and uh, pretty interesting story, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so so I, I learned a lot from him, and it was motivating actually to to read about him, the guy who almost gave up in the music business and didn't really have a big hit or whatever until he was like thirty six or so, yeah. um, and came from humble beginnings in Canada. I thought that was kind of uh, 
kind of cool. Yeah. You know, I love you as a singer, and I'm pretty sure you're an untrained singer. You just do your thing. No. I think what so. gave you that impression? Who are your favorite all-time singers? That's a great question. Um, have you ever heard of Esther Phillips? I have, yeah. She used to be Widow Esther. Mm-hmm. But then uh, she got rediscovered by, uh, I think it was Kenny Rogers' brother at a nightclub in Houston, and she just made some killer records. Please check out Esther Phillips. She made a country record, too. Yeah, she did that Charlie Rich tune, that... Uh, Tombstone on My Grave, that's really great version of that one. She does this one that uh, Gil Scott Heron, which is uh, um, Home is Where the Hatred Is, mm-hmm. which is just... Yeah, <sighs> but she was a teenage star and was with Johnny Otis. Yeah, and, Johnny Otis, yeah. that's right. That's right. And, um, yeah, she just, she really gets to the core of me. Uh, Alton Ellis, you know, mentioned the rock mm-hmm. study stuff. Yeah. I really love his singing a lot. It's <clears> phrasing. And I really like high singers. So even going back to the blues stuff, you know, well, you know me for years, man. Mm-hmm. I was really into the blues growing up and Sleepy John Estes and, and stuff like that. Big Bill Brunzi and Furry Lewis. Yeah. Uh, what is the next record going to be like? I mean, you've written the songs. Are you going to record them? And I, I, actually, I think, do you have one now? Or are you going to, I believe you're going to play a new song for us right now is i'd it, like to is it like an oldie yeah. that didn't make the record or is it a no. new that's going to be on the next it's a new okay yeah i just wrote it uh last week or so two weeks ago so i guess we could call this a world premiere of uh we can't lose yeah that's right yeah the official title we may never win but we can't lose right this here. is pokey lafarge in the roadhouse catch him tonight at the show box
We Can't Lose, a new song by Pokey Lafarge. She's in the Roadhouse. Great to have you here, Pokey. We'll see you tonight at the Showbox. Tomorrow is going to be up in Vancouver at the Imperial. The new record, Man of Revelation, is highly recommended. Good to see you again, Pokey. Thank you. It's an honor. Thanks for having us here. Great job, boys. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.